Hello everyone, my name is Rico the Puppet, and I'm here today to do a Let's Play. Now for those of you who don't know what a Let's Play is, it is simply, I play a video game and make some interesting commentary on it. You know, I've seen a few of these on YouTube, and they can be pretty good, so I'm very excited. And I decided for my first game that I would ever do, I am going to do XCOM. I've heard so much about this game, because... You know, in 2013, it was rated the best game, and I was like, well, clearly that's the game I should go for. Besides, it's about shooting aliens. Who doesn't want to do that, right? So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to play the game. I went down to Steam and downloaded it, and you can as well. It is very cheap. It's really good. So, let's get ready to play XCOM UFO Defense. Made in 2013, with cutting-edge technology and graphics. Let's go! Uh, I should remind people that this is my very first time playing this. I don't know a whole lot. All I know is that, like, aliens are attacking everything, and we gotta defend the world. Oh, you can see how evil they are. They're like... Ninja Turtles? With, like, guns, I guess. The very first thing I have to say is, like, these are very impressive graphics. I've never... Truly, they live up to the 2013 standards of what quality graphics should look like. So, look at this. So advanced. Oh, man. I'm so excited. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're going to go fight those aliens now. Oh, it... I am so excited! It's so lifelike! And there's the men that will save the world! Which are apparently Guile from Street Fighter 2, I guess. Oh, look at this! Oh man, we're gonna take out all these aliens with a big gun! This is gonna be like action packed to the max, man! Oh! Oh man! You know what? I can't even wait. I have to. I have to do. I have to play. I can't even wait. This is so exciting. Okay. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen, for XCOM? Here we go. English. First great decision we've already made, because I don't know those other two languages at all. So uh, we'll go to new game. Well, even though I've never played this game before. I'm a pretty veteran video game player, you know, like, I've played Pong at least five times, and like, Super Mario Brothers, I like, beat, beat the first level once, so veteran it is. Okay, what do we got there? Select the site for a new base. Ooh, and I can choose anywhere in the world. Well, I think I know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go to my hometown of Winnipeg. Ah, uh, there's, there's no Winnipeg. They don't even admit we ex exist on the Zoom. Well, well, too bad. I'm going to put one down. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, go with, uh, a base name. How about House of Pain? That's very good. Take that, aliens. We're going to jump around on, on your head. Okay. Here we go! Now, the game seems to be going here. Set in the future of 1999. When things are magical and boy bands rule the world. Clearly, the aliens are out to get our boy bands, so we must defend them. So, we're gonna go look at our base. Let's take a look at that there. Well, I like the layout. We got a small radar. We got the stores, like a like a Walmart, maybe, a laboratory, a workshop, and a living quarters. Those are all pretty important sounding. However, we got like three hangers here. This is too many hangers, in my opinion. You know, like, I like to run a tight ship around here. I'm going to actually, like, just, I'm gonna just get rid of this guy. If, if you fire someone... It makes all the other people like, oh man, we gotta make sure we do really well, otherwise they're gonna get, they're gonna clamp down on us. I'm gonna get rid of that. 
Besides, I think, you know, if aliens ever decide to uh, attack my base, I should make sure that there's no entry into it. You know, like the hangar would be a, a main way. Perhaps this access lift. That would be another place. So we don't want that just hanging around. So I'm going to put all my entry points up here. I'd like to remind everybody, I've never played this game before in my life. Like People say that this is a really tough game. But I don't know, so far I'm doing alright. Ooh, an alien containment. That will be good to have. I'm adding another general stores. Because, you know, capitalism, you want, like, competition. You can't just have Walmart. You also got to have, like, Target. You know, help drive down price or whatever. We're we'll putting a large radar system. That'll be good. What else? We're we'll add more living quarters. We're gonna have like it's gonna be like a party place around there, man, and with all the people. That's very good. Okay, hit OK there. What should I do next? I'm going to uh, let's take a look at ooh our research. We're going to start a new project. Motion scanner, medikit, and laser we Really, why would you choose anything but laser weapons? We've got lasers. We've got that going. I'm going to put all my scientists into that. My ten scientists. Alright, let's... Got that going. Manufacturer! I wonder what I can build. Apparently, I have ninjas who are going to build me things. So, what do we, what do we got, ninjas? N nothing. Or maybe it's because the ninjas, they don't like to say what they're building. You know, they're pretty sneaky. That's okay, I'll come back to this later. You know. Sell and sack. We're gonna... Frankly, we got a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff that we don't need. You know, like, who wants a heavy cannon? You know, like, the, these soldiers are already facing life and death. Do we want them carrying heavy things around? Probably not. Auto cannon. That sounds lame. Uh, rocket launcher, you stay. I like, I like that. Things that can explode, that's what you want. Uh, smoke grenades, you're out. We'll go sell this at the Value Village. No, no, we're good. We got some money. As you can see here, we have over two million dollars right there, ready to go. Here at the House of Pain. Now what else can we do here? Uh, base information. I've got eight soldiers? Eight soldiers to defend the world? That's not gonna be enough. Ten engineers, we're doing nothing. Ten scientists. So as you can see, I have space for some more people. It looks like I have space for more things, and I got okay. Well, I'm going to then recruit some more people. You know, I'm going to get up to like 15. You know, I have there we go. I'm going to get some more scientists in there. Not enough living space. Well, that's okay. We got 15 guys coming our way. What else can we get there? What? Tank with a rocket launcher? You, you better believe I'm getting one of those things. I'm gonna get some of these. Some rocketies. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Uh, anything else good I want? Ooh. Stun rods. That'd be good at some parties, like as a party prank or what have you. I'm gonna get a few of these going. You better believe it. And uh, electro flares. That will also help out the house parties. You can have like a mini rave or whatever. That'll be pretty good. There we go. Um, well, let, let's take a look at the soldiers that are going to be defending the world against these aliens. Uh, we... Right? I haven't heard of any of these people. We have two Gastons. Two of them, What? Right? A Clarence. Clarence is not going to save the world. I don't care if his last name is King Clarence. I don't think that's a great name, Clarence. You're, we need somebody who, who knows what he's doing. Like uh, like John McLean. 
not very good. No, you're out. Uh, how about how about the ultimate warrior? That's pretty good. He's gonna help us out to win the world. Okay, Virgil Thomas. No more. You are now uh, Arnold Schwartz. Nah, Noggle. I don't know. Schwarzenberg. Uh, how about we just go with Arnold Palmer? I can spell that one. That's very good. Okay, next up, we're going to get Jack Bauer. I think we're going to mess with Jack Bauer. Oh, this guy. We're gonna, how about that? Uh, who else? Danny DeVito? If he gets pretty angry, He's he's quite the handful. That is true. Uh, nope. We're gonna put in man without a face. Oh yeah. You don't want to mess with that guy. He's probably pretty tough. That's what I'm saying. You know, I don't really know. I don't really know what kind of name that is. So I'm just gonna guess. I'm gonna just go with like. Liam, whoop, Neeson, oh yeah, we got a crack squad going so far, how about man who lost his key, oh yeah, his Corolla is double parked, but he just needs to find the key, he has a, like a whole like storyline going on, that's very good. Look at that. That's our team to defend the world. I think that's a pretty good team, I think. Well then, let's head out to the Geoscape. Oh, is there a little world? Well, now that we have our, our base all ready to go, I'm ready to take on some aliens. And of course, if that intro screen was any indication, it's going to be action-packed. Filling to the brim with with action. Uh, okay. Nothing seems to be happening. Oh, I'll just... Let's speed it up a little bit here. You know, XCOM, you're kind of like... Uh, you, you kind of oversold yourself. You said you're going to be all, like, action-y. I'm, I'm going to just, like, go... To the, to the max here. Okay. Ooh. My, I can start having parties. Well, that's a start. Let's keep going. Okay. My rockets are here. That means my tank is almost here. Oh, man. More people that I've never heard of. And just generic scientists. They don't name the scientists. Oh, fine. I'll just go back into my thing here. Go into research. Everybody, get on to those laser weapons. Okay. This is very good. Um, let's see. My, uh, was, uh, oh, the other soldiers. Nope. We're going to go with Filbert. Now, you may not think that that's a very strong name, but like a guy who's named Filbert, he's going to grow up tough. You know, that's very good. David Jones? Not quite. How about Abe Vogota? Mikhail? Well, it, there's not enough vowels in that last name. I'm going to go with Bert Suggins. Oh, yeah. That's a tough name. Gregory, Th how about Shant Gibbons? That guy probably has a pretty sweet mustache. Save the world with that mustache alone. Uh, nope. We're gonna go with Jack Porkins. I mean, I know he died in Star Wars, but you know, maybe he was just out of his league there. He just needs to be more on Earth, you know? Leonid, is that a girl's name? 
The guy's name. Well, I'm going to give a... a we need a, a lady in there. So we're going to go with Marie Curie. That's very good. Knows the science. That's a pretty smart lady you want on your team. Klaus. How about Santa Klaus? He'll, he'll give those aliens a pretty good gift. How about like a bullet to the face? Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Laser pistol. We can now re get a laser pistol? You better believe it. Okay. We're going to start looking at that immediately. You know, there seems to be, like, a lot of spreadsheets in, like, management going on here. Okay. Our tank is in. There's not one thing been shot. Ooh! Here we go. Our first UFO. We're gonna go. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I need to equip my craft. My Sky Ranger filled with all the peoples. These are who are currently on there by the indications that they say Sky Ranger 1. So I, I just want to add in our best people here. You know, Filbert. He's got a vendetta that needs to be addressed. Okay. Santa Claus. You just keep building the toys for the good children. Okay. What do we got here? Uh-oh. I can't take my tank for some reason. Oh, I know why. I know why. I got too many people. Guess what, Jack Porkins? You're sending this one out. You died before, so I don't trust that you can live. And Arnold Palmer will save for another day because he's got golf. And then, like... The guy, man who lost his key, he's going to look around the base for a little bit. And then, um... Abe Vigoda, he's going to stick around and he's going to entertain the, the rest of the troops, right? Now, I can put on the rocket launcher. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm going to put on a guy with the rockets. That's also pretty good. Um, I'm going to take all the rifles I can take with me. Okay. And then there's... Why is this still on here? I don't want a heavy cannon. Get out of here, heavy cannon. One, nine. Oh, yeah. This is going to be great. Well, I don't need to take stun rods in yet, I don't think. I'm going to take my electro flares. You never know when you might need them. Um, I got no armor for anybody. Well, that's okay. Well, here we go. Um, intercept. I'm going to take my Sky Ranger. Tell him to go over there with the where the aliens are. Okay. Yes, I am ready for a mission. Alright, explore, land in sight, and if possible, gain entry to the UFO. Mission will be successful when all enemy units have been eliminated or, or neutralized. Okay. And I'm noticing here by the time that I've already used up all the time for this video. You see, I decided I'm going to try and make them short videos so that way, you know, you can watch them in chunks or whatever. And they're not too long. But I haven't even done anything. We've, we just got to the fight. Our fight where we're apparently going to send out janitors to do all the dirty work. Well, that was kind of unfortunate. Well, we'll just go to the next video and then there'll be hopefully some awesome alien fights and less, like, spreadsheets and, you know, TPS reports and all that kind of thing. Alright, well, see you at the next video, I guess.